Hey guys, Chris here from Helpdesk. Have you ever wanted to make multiple objects in your scene change their material colors over time, each in a unique way? Well, you're in the right place. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to create a dynamic material that does just that. I'll be using hexagons as our example, but this technique works with any objects you have. Let's get started. First things first, make sure you have multiple objects in your scene whose materials you want to animate. If you already have a scene set up, perfect. If not, let's quickly add some hexagons. Go to File, New and select General, delete the default cube. Press Shift plus A, go to Mesh, Extras and select Honeycomb. If you don't find that option, that's because it needs to be activated in the Add-ons menu. Check that and you're ready to go. We want the hollow part solid, so we select the six vertices of one of the hexagons, invert the selection with Ctrl plus I and delete the rest of them. Then we extrude along the Z-axis with E and Z, select the bottom vertices with Alt and left click and make a face with the F key. The same with the upper vertices. Now we'll give it a little chamfer with the bevel modifier just for the aesthetics. With the key W we can smooth the shading with Auto Smooth and there we have it, a perfect little hexagon. Now let's make lots of it. Add an array modifier and position the copy to your liking. Add a second array modifier and position the two copies so that there's kind of a zigzag pattern. With a third array modifier you adjust the horizontal count. And finally, with a fourth array modifier you can adjust the vertical count. Now we need to apply the modifier stack from top to bottom. This makes our copies real geometry. To make them respond individually to material changes we have to go to Edit Mode with Tab. Select All with A, hit P and separate the objects by loose parts. Let's delete a few of those to create an interesting pattern. Now we select one of the hexagons and make room for the shader editor. We give the hexagon a new material and put the created nodes to the side for now. Press Shift A, type in color ramp and hit Enter. Connect the color output of the color ramp node to the basic color input of the principled BSDF. Choose a color combination of your liking. I'm going for a classic teal and amber. Let's introduce time as a variable and make our material change over time. Press Shift A and add a value node. Left click on the value field and type in hashtag frame times 0.1 to add a driver to the field. This will make the value change automatically over time, serving as our time variable. Now to introduce randomness, add an object info node. Next up, we will need a little math. Add a math node and set it to multiply. Connect the random output from the object info node to the first input of the multiply node. Then in the second input type in 2 times pi, which is roughly 6.283 and we'll scale our random value to cover a full sine wave cycle. We want the material to oscillate between two colors. So let's do that by adding another math node and set it to add. Connect the output of our time variable to the first input of the add node and the output of our scaled random value to the second input. With Alt and left click, duplicate another math node and set it to sine. Connect the output of the add node to the input of the sine node. With yet another math node set to add, we will adjust the sine wave output to be between 0 and 1. We do that with setting the value of the add node to 1 and divide it by 2 with the last math node set to divide. Let's tie it all together. Connect the output of the last divide node to the FAC input of your color ramp and that will animate the color change over time oscillating smoothly between your colors. Last thing to do is selecting all your hexagons. Make sure the one with the material is the highlighted one and hit Ctrl L to link the materials to the other hexagons. And now when you scrub through the timeline, all hexagons will change colors individually. If you found this useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.